Welcome to our midweek meditation on this Wednesday, December 29th, after the first Sunday after Christmas. The Wednesday before the new year actually begins. I return to the Living Book of Daily Prayer for today's meditation. And our scripture reading today is from Psalm 96. The psalmist wrote, Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord, praise his name. Proclaim his salvation day after day. Declare his glory among the nations, his marvelous deeds among all the peoples. For great is the Lord and most worthy of praise. He is to be feared among all the gods. For the gods of the nations are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Splendor and majesty are before him. Strength and glory are in his sanctuary. Ascribe to the Lord, all you families of nations, ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due his name. Bring an offering and come into his courts. Worship the Lord in the splendor of his holiness. Tremble before him, all the earth. Say among the nations, the Lord reigns. The world is firmly established, it cannot be moved. He will judge the heavens, rejoice, let the earth be glad. Let the sea resound and all that is in it. Let the fields be jubilant and everything in them. Let all the trees in the world forest sing for joy. Let the creation rejoice before the Lord, for he comes, he comes to judge the earth. He will judge the world in righteousness and the peoples in his faithfulness. Let us pray. Music maker God, I awake with a psalm of praise on my lips looking forward to the new year. Coming one, thank you for the gift of yet another day and year past. Thanks for a song of gratitude in my heart. Thanks for the opportunity to join in great and varied hallelujahs that will be offered in praise to your creation today. The winds sing, the snow and rain offer their own distinct tune. Flying birds and the creeping wild animals are in, the, are in one accord. Help me to be a bringer of joyous sounds to all those I meet today. Let the, let the discord in my life be silenced as I think of all the wonder that you have sent before me to discover this day. Honor, majesty, strength, and beauty are yours. Yet you have given me eyes to behold the glory of your creation. Let me add my voice in exalted hymns of delight. Forgive me of the sin that tells me to sing the blues. Play a new song upon the strings of my heart as I look forward to the new year. Amen. And let us move to our intercessory prayer. With joy and confidence, let us pray to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ for the needs of all the people throughout the world. Dear Father, thank you for the gift of your Son. Thank you for making us his brothers and sisters and for giving us the privilege of calling you Abba. Thank you for making you, making us your family, Lord. In your mercy, please hear our prayer. Guide and protect your church. Let it cherish and share the gifts of life, forgiveness and union with your dear Son. Give it grace to proclaim them boldly and faithfully, and to bestow them generously, so that the family that you have created in him may grow and flourish. Lord, in your mercy, please hear our prayer. Grant that your Son, Jesus, is always cradled in the hearts of the people in this congregation, and that we always speak and act in ways that are worthy of our calling as sisters and brothers. We pray that more and more we think, pray, speak, and act as your disciples, bearing the great gift of Jesus' love to everyone we meet. Lord, in your mercy, please hear our prayer. On account of Jesus, innocent children were killed by Herod. We pray for our sisters and brothers across the whole world who are tortured and killed because they name Jesus as Lord. Protect them from evil, keep their heart, keep their faith strong, 
and their hearts pure by their witness to the babe of Bethlehem call their, for, call their tormentors to repentance and to faith Lord in your mercy please hear our prayer bless all who care for the poor sick, grieving and lonely in this season of joy shine the light of your love upon those in nursing homes mental institutions and hospitals grant your mercy and guide and guidance to prisoners and to all who are addicted or despairing be the sure hope and, pro and protector of the homeless and refugees especially little children and lead them to safe shelter Lord in your mercy please hear our prayer give the leaders of the nations a holy fear of the Lord which is the beginning of wisdom. Teach them your ways of faithfulness and justice. Bring healing and hope to people overwhelmed by natural disasters or human malice. Help us all to live in peace with each other. Lord, in your mercy, please hear our prayer. Bless and protect our military, police, first responders, and all who protect life and liberty. Grant them wisdom, integrity, and courage. Let the innocent, the weak, and the vulnerable call on them confidently. Bring them safely home to the loved one, to their loved ones, and heal those who are wounded in body, mind, or soul. Lord, in your mercy, please hear our prayer. We sing of Jesus, the Son of Righteousness, risen with healing in his wings. Let the light of his countenance shine upon everyone troubled by pain, confusion, sorrow, sin, or grief. Especially we pray for those in our congregation who are on our prayer list. Restore them to life, health, and hope, and to all who love them. Lord, in your mercy, please hear our prayer. Lord, keep safe those who have died trusting in your name promised mercy comfort all those who, whose grief runs deep during this season of joy keep us close to Jesus so we know him as our wise brother as well as our mighty savior throughout our earthly pilgrimage you kept him Mary and Joseph safe throughout their exile and brought them into the promised land therefore we pray that you would bring us through the dangers and sorrows of this life into the eternal home that you have promised to those whom you, whom, whom you name for Jesus' sake, your beloved children. Lord, in your mercy, please hear our prayer. Hear and mercifully grant us, dear Lord, all that we ask that conforms to your good and perfect will for us. For your name's sake we pray. Amen. Let the whole earth bring forth new songs of praise in this new year that is coming. And let us close with this prayer. As the moon mounts its pulpit and shines forth its glorious note, I rest my weary soul in the anchor that holds in the matchless name of Christ we pray. Amen. Well, this concludes this week's meditation. Our Bible study will return again next week continuing again with Luke's Gospel. Please join us if you are able. You will certainly be welcome. The more the merrier. Join us on Sunday at noon for worship in the sanctuary. God bless you. Have a wonderful day and a great new year. See you again next week.